Hi, welcome to Wildcat Vintage. My name is Raven. I'm the owner of Rockabilly Raven Vintage, and this is my channel where I bring to you my finds out in the wild of vintage items, everything from clothing and accessories to home decor and everything in, in between. So uh, today I have a two-part haul for you. I actually filmed this one once before and sadly my computer died right when I started my channel so I saved it all in the same bag just so I could refilm it and show everybody. So this was a huge haul. Absolutely massive. Let's get started. All right so normally I bring you reusable cloth bags, but this particular VOA and other VOAs that I have traveled to, they get really twitchy about reusable bags for some reason. So luckily I can use these big plastic bags for recycling, but I am earth conscious, so. All right, this haul is gonna be split into two pieces. The first half is going to be accessories, and the second half is going to be clothing and coats. Um, so without further ado, let's check out some accessories. All right, so to start with, I have handbags. So these handbags that I found are from the 19, this one's from the 1950s, um, and the other one is from the 1940s. Uh, the day that I went to this VOA was the day before everything was 50% off. So I didn't get everything at 50% off, but they filled the store with all of the things that they're going to have for half off the next day. And I made out like a bandit. So back to the purse. This purse is a great navy blue. It is awesome brass clasp on it. The handle is in absolutely beautiful, perfect condition. It's a good little square size. The lining is very clean. There's no stains or damage. Uh, the inside has a, maybe if I could get in the frame, a metal zipper. Um, all of these are good indicators that you have a vintage piece, a vintage handbag or even clothing for that matter with the metal zipper. So again, the tag in there is embossed in gold and it says creation by international um, and really, really good piece. This particular bag was an orange tag, which was 25% off on that day. So uh, it was $5 with 25% off. Yeah, bottom. Always check your bottoms, make sure, hee <laughs> hee, always check your bottoms. Check and make sure there's no stitching that's missing, no water damage, and no dings or scuffs or bumps. So really great little vintage handbag. And not to be outdone by its fabulous 1940s sister. So this particular piece is, I hope it reads well on the camera, shiny is brown it is a dark brown it has awesome brass findings which are these little pieces right here um, clasp also brass good shape nice and strong the handle is in immaculate condition when you are checking a handle Make sure and check the stitching here to make sure it hasn't split and popped apart. Make sure that it's flexible so that it doesn't crack and break. As well as you're gonna to wanna to check your corners. Like I said, always check the bottom. Now, I will tell you that this beautiful little piece does have a ding right here, a smudge mark. The smudge mark looks like I can get it out with a little bit of cleaner or polish. So I went ahead and purchased the piece anyways. It also comes with a matching coin purse. So uh, again, check your lining. Look at that lining. Ah, it's so beautiful. It's so clean. Again, I have a metal zipper. I have a satin lining. 
Um, I have, ooh, I don't know if you can see it, down here, an embossed Maker's Mark. This one is from a company called Manson. I haven't heard of that company before, but they make a really nice bag. Um, is in great shape. Look at this neat size. It's like the width of my shoulders. It's, it's, that's 15 and a half inches. So really great handbag. Um, it was $3.99 and I don't think it had any discounts, but that's okay because I'll take a 1940s handbag with her matching coin purse for four bucks. Awesome. So, and I'm going to drop it because, you know, we're professional around here. All right, so also in the vein of accessories, I got vintage gloves. I got one, two, three, four, five, five pairs of vintage gloves. Good things to look for in vintage gloves. Make sure that there's no wear, no holes, no damage. You're going to want to turn them inside out and look inside. This one has a great tag. It is from Van... Oh, can't read it. Hang on one second. Van Rad... Radette Gloves. I probably just butchered that. They're from the 60s. Here's your tag. Hope you can see that. There it is. They are a size small, but I don't have itty bitty itty bitty hands and they fit my hands quite fine. So always check, make sure they fit. Purple gloves, oh my gosh. So uh, these ones are leather on the outside, synthetic lining on the inside. And not to have one too many pairs, I found another one. These are also a deep grape purple. They are from the same company. These ones are marked a medium. So um, I thought the smalls fit pretty well. These have a little different cut. As you can see, they're a little bit shorter. Interesting. The mediums don't fit my hands, but the smalls do. Hmm, interesting. I'm going to look at that tag one more time. Yeah, it genuinely said small. Can you see it? Always try things on. You never know if it's going to fit you or not. So, nice leather. Make sure there's no pulls, holes. Make sure there's no holes in the tips. Stitching. Check your stitching. Look for stains. If all of those things check out, you get them. Buy them. Um, so, uh, again... Another set of gloves. Uh, these beauties are 100% leather. They are not lined. And they, very, very awesome mark on there. Uh, it says founds in a seven and a half. If you don't know your glove size, quite all right. Again, I try everything on. I'm a seven. So these seven and a halves, they fit their a little tiny bit too big but I have long fingers so oh look at those gloves oh yeah glorious nice black leather gloves um, again you're gonna want to check for wear these ones had a little bit of wear but they were quite a bit cheaper uh, but there's no holes check your stitching in between uh, make sure that they are in good shape all right, so last two pairs of gloves. These are slinky black. They are from the same founds company. They are nylon. Oh, I hope I can get this. What I'm gonna end up seeing is my eyeballs and my tattoos. All right, so these are a size seven. They are made in the United States. They are, I'm gonna guess these are from the 50s. I put it on the wrong hand, you know. Again, professional around here. Um, they have rouging, so they have added detail on the sides. <sighs> yes! They're great. 
black and pink anyone? Yes, thank you very much. So, um, I think these ones are sevens because they fit perfectly. They fit like a glove. You knew I could not resist, right? So, um, really great pieces. Uh, the, yep, they're seven. Again, when you're looking at tags, most things that were made in the United States are going to be vintage. My 1960s purple gloves, they are made in Korea. It does not designate North or South Korea, so they might actually be from the 50s. Um, so, good tips and tricks for making sure that you actually have a vintage item. Uh, my last pair are these absolutely great tomato red uh, nylon gloves. They have some good little detail right here. I have no idea if you can see that because I can't see it on the monitor, but um, they're a very typical 1950s glove, but they're a great color. Uh, gloves are a wonderful way to sell a vintage outfit or to just authenticate your vintage look. So um, each of these were $1.99 a piece, except for my leather gloves that were a tiny bit dinged, and they were $2.99, or they were 99 cents. And then my purple ones were $2.99. So uh, let's see, we've got three, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine dollars for beautiful vintage gloves. Absolutely fantastic. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop here for now because I have so much in this haul. So this actually might end up being a three-parter which is funny because I did the same thing when I videoed it last time. I tried to do a two-parter and it ended up being a three-parter. So if you like this sort of thing, if you're enjoying the things that I find and tips and tricks that I can give you to help find your own vintage, um, feel free to like and subscribe. Stick around. Um, I'm going to be trying to post at least once, twice a week, if not more. Uh, and stay tuned. You'll get two more videos from this one haul. Have a great day. Thanks so much for stopping by. I hope this video blesses you, and I look forward to seeing you at the next video. Bye. What? Scarves! Okay. Slightly melodramatic. But, all right, I got several pairs of vintage... Did I say scarves? Oh my gosh. Why did I say scarves? Gloves! I got vintage gloves. It's insane around here.